Now this coral, as well as these fish, have a symbiotic relationship. It means they help each other out to survive. So this coral is going to hold these fish, protect themselves against predators, as well as the coral will grow the algae that the fish will eat to survive. Uh, while these fish eat that algae, it helps the coral to survive. But a really interesting symbiotic relationship is between eels and jacks. Uh, so a jack is a uh, predatory fish, a very aggressive predatory fish. So eels, while they're inside the reef, they'll swim around the reef, they'll stir, stir up the reef, push all the fish outside the reef, while the jacks will try to grab those fish, pushing the fish back inside the reef. So basically just stirring the entire reef, these fish are going everywhere, they're just trying to catch as many fish as possible. fish to meet you is going to be these Hawaiian chillis. They come up right up to your mask, make these cute fish yapping sounds, and then they give you kisses. That's what the divers think. Uh, what these guys are actually doing is they are extraordinarily mean. They're biting you, trying to get you out of their house. Uh, but it really doesn't hurt. They have very small mouths. Just those like kisses. Uh, these Hawaiian chillis, these little tiny fish, they think they're the biggest, baddest thing in the sea. They're not afraid of nothing. Uh, they kind of are annoying. They bark at you as well. Uh, so we call them the chihuahua of the sea. <laughs> We're headed away from the reef now, as you have already noticed. Oh, we're headed to my favorite spot of the dive. On the way, we pass by our coral gardens. Out here, we see lots of beautiful species of coral. Uh, this is where we do sometimes see octopus. So keep an eye out for any octopus. The octopus folks are very hard to find. Uh, you have to have a very keen eye to look for an octopus. Uh, really, you can only tell it's an octopus when it starts to move. These guys look exactly like the coral. They can find themselves like exactly like the sand. They can hide into a little hole uh, about three times smaller than their bodies. Uh, they also have been known to stand up on their legs and lift a few legs up in the air to imitate algae. Whatever they got horse side, here we are. The beautiful sunken ship, the Carthaginian. Now this ship is as beautiful under the water as she was outside of the water. When she was outside of the water, she was first built to be used as a cargo ship. She sailed around Europe delivering various times of cargo. But she was then bought in the 1970s by an Olahina crew. They sailed the ships all the way from Sobe Denmark to Lahaina, Hawaii. When they got back, uh, it was taken over by a restoration company. These guys restored the ship. We then chained her to the front of the Lahaina Harbor and used her as a floating whaling museum. Ooh, every now horse side, look at the side of the ship. The side of the ship, you see that white stripe, just follow that white stripe. It'll take you to another celebrity appearance, a yellow character. There he is, SpongeBob SquarePants. It was a few months ago now, uh, but I did bring a field trip of second graders down to the submarine. So imagine the entire submarine filled up with second graders. As soon as they saw Spongebob, they all started screaming the Spongebob theme song. It's a lot of fun, but my ears are still ringing. <laughs> 